production here is right around 5,000 cases. Um, we were 100% of state grown fruit, uh, 50 acres of vineyard. I'm picking the fruit by taste, not by chemistry, and just basically following that all the way through to the bottle. We are using all French oak here at, at Sawyer. We have an underground uh, barrel storage area uh, that contains about 332 barrels. And it's all natural air, uh, no air conditioning there, and no humidification, but it's underground, so it has beautiful temperature control, natural, and natural humidity here at Sawyer. And the natural humidity and temperature was nice, but uh, the air was still. Uh, as much as we tried to circulate it, you had some mold spores that would grow on the walls uh, and on the ceiling in the barrel room. And since the wine actually picks up its environment, uh, you want a fresh smelling barrel room, not chlorine, absolutely not chlorine, and not any other chemicals either. So when the black mold started growing on the walls and the ceiling, it was a concern. That's uh, when we went with Aeroside, filtering the air with the Aeroside uh, systems uh, remove the mold. Today uh, they're running you know 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Year-round uh, we don't have any problem with black mold. It does allow me to have higher humidity but again it's natural humidity in the barrel room uh, but I can have it higher without any mold growth. So less evaporation but less labor cleaning as well. So we get to spend more time with the wines rather than scrubbing the mold off the walls. I have three aeroside units in the, in the cellar. I have 16,000 square feet, so I do need a few more. Uh, it's not only the square footage, but it's also the layout of my caves. I have so many different offshoots and different tunnels that it's important that I, uh, I get at least six or seven in total. We have three to 400 barrels uh, at any given time here. So you can imagine the amount of time that's, that's kind of caught up in just keeping everything clean. What we used to do before having the aeroside units is go through manually uh, four times a month. Every Friday, we'd go through with two guys with a solution of sulfur and water and uh, go through and manually scrub every barrel. Since having the aeroside unit, we've cut that down um, to once a month. Our savings in man hours is easily 40 to 50 hours a month on, on just having the, the systems running 24 hours a day. I do a lot of fermentations in uh, barrels in open top barrels, so there's a lot of yeast spores floating around. So what I used to do was put the fruit in the, in the barrel, the next morning it'd come in, I'd come in and it would be fermenting already. So with the aeroside unit I've been able to do a cold soak period of about three to four days, uh, which has really helped in the quality of the wines. Humidity is very important for us and make sure that we don't lose a lot of wine through evaporation. On average, I lose a barrel less every month on topping. We got the aerosize about six months ago, and um, I actually seen a big difference. I seen probably about 10% less loss than I did, did before. After we seen how well they work, our next step is gonna be to add them to the cellar. After that, we're gonna add it to the lab, and to our tasting area, which where we want to make sure we don't have any mold or microbial growth. And I think we're going to pay for those aerocytes in six months, just by the wine that we don't have to, um, you know, that we don't lose through evaporation. Vineyard 29 is a premium Napa Valley Cabernet producer. Uh, it was established around the turn of the century, and um, we have these amazing caves that we're, we're here in. We have uh, 14,000 square feet of caves. We hold about 1,000 barrels in here uh, when the cave is completely full. I uh, started using the Aeroside unit in 2006 because we had some mold growth on the barrels. The Aeroside unit is extremely valuable. Um, you know, we're using it to, uh, to basically inhibit mold growth and um, um, uh, airborne microorganisms that can be uh, spoilage microorganisms in the wine. So if we had any sort of spoilage microorganisms get into some of the wine, you know, it, you know each barrel could be worth you know, fifteen, twenty-five thousand dollars. So, um, you know, if we uh, if we lost that wine for some reason, then uh, we would have a serious issue on our hands. I've enjoyed using the aeroside units here at Vineyard Twenty Nine. Um, you know, the the air is cleaner and. Um, 
you know, whether it's in the caves, you know, keeping, uh, battling mold or uh, keeping um, spoilage microorganisms at bay, or whether it's up in our packaging um, supply caves, which uh, we have two aerocides in uh, up there. And, uh, you know, that, there's cardboard up there, and uh, the aeroside units basically take out the cardboard smell or potential TCA smells that could be in the air. Um, so the, the air is less musty and uh, less cardboard smelling. Um, and yeah, so there's multiple, multiple uses for the aeroside units here at the winery. It's actually come in quite handy.